Welcome to this meditation um, with ancestors. We are today working on the day of Halloween, which I thought is an amazing time to do something like this. In this meditation, we're going to work on a theme of being seen and being unseen. And we all know this um, experience of maybe being a bit afraid of being fully seen for who we are, maybe even, um, you know, being... Um, punished sometimes for doing that when when we are children and we show up fully and then suddenly there is a backlash and we the message to us is do not show up like that so we have our own experiences of um struggling to be fully seen for who we are uh, but also to add to this or this goes on top of our um experience and memory that is in our bones that comes from our ancestors that we inherited as we were born into this lineage where we're born um so as as we come to this world we already hold these stories in us and sometimes really really painful stories if we go back some generations we know that throughout the world doesn't matter where where we are um, our ancestors would would be facing this uh, real life danger around being who you are, um, either because of their gender or because of what they know or because of how they show up in the world or because of how they look. So for whatever reason, being yourself um, for many generations was not uh, necessarily a safe experience. So all those stories would still be somewhere there in our in our bodies, in our blood, in our bones, in our genes. And sometimes they get triggered. And sometimes the experiences that we have that we think belong to us in our life actually belong somewhere else. Or the, the, the initial, the roots of the experiences or the roots of our reactions belong somewhere else. So what we're going to do in this meditation is explore this a little bit. There is no pressure to... Um, fix anything we're not going there for full-blown healing that's not the idea we are relaxing into the field of the ancestors to allow this exploration to happen to feel into what is ours what is not ours to feel how do their stories resonate in our body and maybe do a little bit of a separation from that uh, with full respect with full love just taking a step back and saying something like, well, I respect your choices and maybe mine will be different. And I respect that what you've experienced was very difficult and maybe I don't have to experience that. So something like that. And um, in this meditation, I'm going to invite you to um, imagine a lot of things. Uh, we're going to do the grounding first so that you're fully anchored in your physical reality where you are in your space. And then I'm going to invite you to imagine um, seeing different things and rest into it. If you are a visual person, it will be very easy for you. If you are not that visual, maybe some other experiences will be coming. Maybe you'll experience those um, things not through images, but through sound or through feelings, through the felt sense. Um, whatever way it shows up, it's okay. So the important thing is that you are relaxed and in, in a meditative, relaxed state. Um, and if something I invited to imagine and it doesn't show up, that's okay. It, it, it doesn't have to. There is no pressure for it to. It will happen in exactly the right way for you. So I would invite you to have some, some water or something else to eat when you come back so that again you ground yourself and you're fully present in your body. And any noises, any interruptions that you experience potentially during the uh, meditation, if something happens outside or if it happens here on my side, allow it to take you deeper into the process without snapping out of it. Just relax more into it. And treat this, um, treat this um, experience as a dream. So we're working with the world of imagination, we're working with the dream world, and we're working with symbols. And sometimes things show up 
And we might tend to, especially if we're already working with constellations and other systemic modalities, we might tend to want to interpret what does that mean? Why is this ancestor looking like this? Why do ancestors um, live in this in this environment? Because we're working with symbols and imagination, it does not necessarily mean um, exactly what you think it means. And I would just leave it. Leave interpretations for another time. Whatever images show up, treat them as symbols rather than as answers to your questions. <laughs> so if ancestors all show up living in a small village under the trees in the forest, it doesn't necessarily mean that your ancestors in the other world live in a small village under the trees in the forest. Um, that's how they wanted to show up this time. Okay, so let's make ourselves comfortable. We're going to be here for about half an hour. Have your feet on the floor if you can, or if you're lying down, um, that's also an option. And if you fall asleep, that's completely okay. The work happens anyway. But make sure you're comfortable, that your body is comfortable and okay to stay here for a bit. And if you feel okay with that, close your eyes so that you go deeper into your experience. If you are not okay with that, then take your gaze down and relax your eyes. I would suggest you don't do, when you're listening to this uh, later, you don't do this experience if you're driving um, or even if you're walking around and doing something because we are going into the ancestral spaces and uh, just out of pure respect to this connection and this uh, relationship, we want to be fully present to it. So find time to do it um, in a focused way. So close your eyes and take several deep breaths. Several deep breaths all the way down into your body. Feeling your body expand as you take the breath in and contract as you allow the air to leave your body fully. With every breath arriving to this experience fully, whatever happened before, leave it behind, whatever will happen afterwards, sort of leave it there in the future and stay fully present in the here and now. You are here for a reason. And let's respect and honor this reason that brought you here into this space. So allow your full focus to be present here. And as you continue to breathe, become aware of the surroundings of your environment, of your landscape right now. If you are inside, pay attention to the doors, to the windows, know the geography of the space you are in. And if you're outside, also become aware of what are the things around you. And feel your space, your place in this landscape. And if your body needs to make any adjustments to take your place fully in this landscape, to really feel it being here and now, make this adjustment. Move your body so that it feels fully present taking its place fully. And continue to breathe and now bring your attention inside your body. Noticing what is present in your body right now. Maybe doing a little scan of your body from top to bottom or from bottom to top. Just bringing your attention to different places in your body and to all the sensations and feelings that are held in your body right now without the need to fix anything or change anything. Just continuing to breathe and including every experience into your present moment. Everything that you notice belongs. Everything that you notice is there for a reason and we respect that. 
and we include everything. And as you drop deeper into your body, take your attention down to your feet. Feeling the place where your feet touch the ground. And then imagine that you can take your attention even further down into the ground all the way down to the middle of the earth. And then imagine that as you breathe out next, you can send your love to follow your attention all the way down to the middle of the earth, offering this gift of love to Mother Earth today that flies through your feet and out into the earth, connecting you to everything below you to all the beings and the ancestors of the below. And to Mother Earth herself and to the heart, to her heart in the middle. And maybe imagine that from that place in the middle of the earth, your love can flow to any other place on the surface of the planet. Where would it go? So that your love connects you through the heart of Mother Earth to other places in this world. To those places of the ancestors. To those places of maybe other stories, other lifetimes. Maybe the places where your heart belongs to. And as you breathe in next, imagine breathing in the energy of Mother Earth, her love that flows from the middle of her heart and all the way through all the layers of the planet and into your feet. This beautiful, powerful energy of the love of Mother Earth that goes into your feet and flows all the way up your body, reminding every cell in your body of this connection to the Earth, of this connection to this ancient ancestor that gives life to all. And this beautiful grounding Life-giving energy flows all the way up your body, through all your cells, through all your organs, all the way up to the top of your head. And then you imagine it flowing even further up through the top of your head and all the way up to the sky. All the way up to the sun, to the moon, to the stars. And through all the other realms of the above, all the way up to the place of the source, to the place of the great mystery. And with your next breathing out, imagine breathing out love to follow this energy all the way up to everything that is above you, all the way up to the source, connecting you to everything above you, to all the beings and the ancestors above and to the source itself, to the source of all that is. And as you breathe in next, imagine breathing in the energy that flows from the place of the source, this love from the great mystery flowing all the way down into your head and then all the way down through the whole of your body, down to your feet and out into the earth. And you feel these two energies flowing within you. You becoming a channel between the two. Like a hollow bone of the ancient traditions. 
connecting within you the below to the above and the above to the below. Being the child of both. And as these two energies flow within you, you bring your attention gently to your heart, becoming aware of your own heart in this flow. And imagine as you breathe out, breathing out love into your heart, to your heart, connecting you to everything that your heart represents everything that it holds from your ancestors, everything that it holds for you, your magic, your divine energy that you brought with you, everything that your heart manifests in this lifetime. And as you breathe in, you imagine breathing in the love that comes from your heart to you. This beautiful and conditional love of your heart that is there any moment in time, that is there all the way from the beginning of your existence, from the first beat of your heart, it loves you deeply and unconditionally. And imagine that within your heart, there is this spark of the divine light that your soul brought with her into this lifetime, into this body, as it was incarnating. And entrusted it gently to the heart. And in the heart, this divine spark is. And with every breath you take now, this spark begins to grow bigger and bigger becoming a beautiful light in your heart. And then it grows even bigger and becomes a beautiful light in your body, illuminating everything within you with its light. And with the next breath, imagine that this light spills out of your body and becomes this beautiful ball of light all around you. It's around you, it's below you, above you. It is inside and outside. You breathe it in, you breathe it out. You're fully surrounded with this beautiful divine light of your own heart. And as you're fully surrounded by this light, As you feel it touching your skin, as you feel it on your breath. Imagine yourself standing on a low hill, on a nice sunny day. Everything is green around you. And below you there is a river. And you look at the landscape around, noticing all the different details of this landscape. What is there in this landscape? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? Do you feel the warmth of the air? Do you hear the sounds of the birds? Maybe a light breeze. Is it sunny? Or is maybe a bit of rain gathering or maybe some clouds in the sky? You feel your feet on the grass. You feel the peace of being in this place in this place in the dream world, in this place of timelessness.
and you look at this river and notice the size of the river. Notice how bright the water is. And imagine that one of the sides of this river is the past. And the further down into the past, the more you go down the timeline of your lineage. And the other side of the river is the future. And the more the water flows into that direction from the past and into the future, the more you look down the line into what is yet to come. And you notice that below you, just at the bottom of the hill on the river, there is a boat. And you know that this boat is an invitation for a journey. And you go down the hill to take the boat. Noticing what kind of boat it is. Is it big or is it small? What is the color of the boat? Or maybe it's just wood and maybe some other material. Or is it a big ship? And you take this boat and the boat takes you smoothly and easily. Down to the side of the past. And as you navigate in this boat along the river against the current that flows into the future. You look at the both sides, you look at the shores on both sides, and you know that you are going down the timeline, going back through time. A rare opportunity to time travel in this beautiful scenery, this beautiful landscape on the other side of your beautiful boat. And the further down you go, the landscape maybe changes a little bit. Maybe you see some settlements on the sides, on the banks of the river. Maybe a bit further down inland, you see something that looks like a settlement. Maybe the nature changes, maybe the season change. And at some point you are attracted by one of the settlements on one side of the river. It's calling you and you know that it's, it's, it's time to explore. So you moor your boat, you park your boat by this settlement. And you get off the boat and to the earth, to the ground. And as your feet touch the ground, you know that this is the settlement of your ancestors. And as you take the first couple of steps, you also know that this is the settlement of all your ancestors who struggled with being seen. who struggled with being seen for who they are, for whatever reasons, with a whole variety of scenarios around this, with the whole variety of stories and experiences, some more difficult, some more painful than the others. They all have different stories of it, but one thing connects all of them. Being seen was not a good experience for them and maybe for their ancestors too. And as you walk the streets of this settlement, maybe it's a village, maybe it's a town, just notice what it shows up as for you. Feel into the energy of this place. Imagine the ancestors being around, going around their business, 
with this energy of not being allowed or not wanting to be a hundred percent themselves so that they just about are not seen just about invisible or just about visible but not fully And as you walk around, as you look at the ancestors, and they will be from all the different times, through all the different histories of this planet. Different genders, different nationalities, different ages. Notice how it feels in your body to be here. Where in your body do you feel this energy? Remembering also that this served them in some ways, not being seen was useful. It allowed for life to keep going. It allowed for life to happen in some satisfactory way. So in some ways, this is also a gift in some ways, this is what needed to happen for you to have your life. Feel into this experience in your body. Feel into this feelings and sensations as you walk the streets, as you imagine all these different ancestors. And maybe one or two stand out to you. Maybe you notice something specific. Maybe there are those who you know and whose stories you know. Or maybe there are those who are from a very distant past and you suspect something about them, but you don't know for sure. There are no facts around it. Or maybe somebody attracts your attention who is completely unexpected that you have no information about but they are also here. And then slowly as you walk the streets of this place, you come out into a square. And you know that the ancestors are watching you. You know that they know you are here but they don't want you to feel fully seen either to protect you because for them that's not a good experience so they will not want to do it to others. But you know they're there and you know they're paying attention. And as you come out into this little square, into this little opening, you say some words to them. Imagine saying to them, I am your descendant and you are my ancestors. Wherever you were in history, I am now talking to you from 2024. This is how far the life went in our lineage. I know you, even though I never met you. Your stories, your experiences, your fears, your pain are mine as well. All of it is in my bones. All of it is in my blood. This is what I inherited from you. This is the price of my life. Thank you for my life. And as you say these words, 
Imagine that an ancestor or an ancestress or maybe several ancestors step forward and join you in this square or this opening. They heard you. And they talk to you. And they say to you, you are our descendant. And we are your ancestors. We made our choices. And we lived our lives. The way that we could. The way that felt right for us. So you take anything that belongs to you from this. And anything else that belongs to us, live here with us. We are grateful for being seen by you. Your contract with us is now complete. Know that there are others that have different experiences and different stories than us. And you have our full permission to explore and to get to know them. And you hear these words and they sink into your heart. And they touch you deeply. This permission to be free, to know something else. And your heart is full of gratitude. And you realize that you have a gift for these ancestors. And you go quickly back to your boat. And you take a gift out of the boat. And just notice what this gift is. Whatever it shows up at, as you bring it back to the square. And you offer it to those ancestors who were talking to you. Knowing that it will be shared with everyone. And you say to the ancestors, this is my gift to you. I honor your fate. I honor your choices. I take your permission to be free, fully. As this contract between us is complete, I bow to you. And maybe imagine taking a bow to your ancestors, however small, however big it feels right to do right now out of respect and honoring to those who gave you life at a high price taking it fully completing the contract and as you come out of your bow notice all other ancestors who are now in the square Smiling and nodding their heads. Maybe there are some who look distressed by this option of exploring something else, but they know that this is their fate and their story, their life. And they let you go freely. Maybe there are others who look indifferent and withdrawn, and they also know that this is their life and their choices and their fate, and you have another one. And saying goodbye to all these ancestors, you go back to your boat, holding in your body the memory of this energy and holding in your heart the permission to leave it behind, to leave it where it belongs. 
And with this permission, you climb back into your boat and you continue sailing deeper into the past, through the timeline, through all the different landscapes, through all the different seasons. Your boat flows gently on the, on the water of the river. And you see more settlements on different sides of the river. And some of them gently call you, but you know that they are not the right ones, not the ones that you're looking for. And you continue to flow, you continue to go on your boat, down the timeline, deep into the past. And then finally you see on the other side of the river the settlement that you're looking for. And it looks bigger. And you park your boat there. And you get off. Disembark. And as your feet touch the ground, you know this is the settlement of your ancestors. And you know these are the ancestors who were completely comfortable with being fully seen. And you begin walking the streets of this place. Everything feels bigger, brighter, more alive. People are everywhere. They look relaxed. You feel the energy of this place even before entering the settlement, this beautiful field of energy that is peace, that is content. that is calm. And as you walk the streets and you notice these different ancestors from all the different times, all the different places, different, different stories, different people, but one thing in common is that they all know in their bones, deep in their beings, what it feels like to be seen fully in a good way in a safe way, in a completely natural way. To be seen for who you are, for exactly who you are. To be accepted for exactly who you are. And some of these ancestors had to struggle for it. They had to overcome not being seen. They have to overcome the fear, but they came to this point they learn how to do it in a good way, how to be that in a good way. And for other ancestors, that was never even a question. They had never a single doubt about their right to be seen fully, about their experience being seen fully. They don't know a different reality. This is what they know as them. This is their truth. And there is this full, complete relaxation of every muscle in the body as this becomes an undisputed truth. Being seen safely, fully. And you walk the streets of this place and feel this energy in your body. Notice where does it resonate within you? What parts of your body respond to this energy? Do you recognize it or is it completely strange to you? Allow your body to receive it. Allow your body to bathe in this energy. To partake in this field of peace. And as you continue to walk, you come out into the square, into this opening. And the ancestors are already there. They are completely comfortable to be seen by you. And they are very comfortable to see you fully. They know you. They know you before you even stepped on the earth of their settlement. 
And you look at all of them at this big circle with this big crowd of ancestors. And you see the smiles on their faces. And you feel their peace. And you imagine saying to them, I am your descendant. And you are my ancestors. And I don't think I know you at all. A lot of what I know belongs to other ancestors. Those who struggle with being seen. And I'm here with their full permission to explore another story, to remember in my body your stories and your experiences of being seen fully in a safe way, in a good way, in the right way. And I'm here to learn. I'm here to remember. I'm here to explore and discover a new way of being, a new experience for myself to take back into my life in 2024 with me. And as you say the words, an ancestor or an ancestress, or maybe more than one ancestor, step forward. And they say to you, we are your ancestors. And you are our descendant. And we are so happy to see you. Our hearts rejoice to see you fully with everything that you bring with you. Everything that we know, we share. All our experiences of being seen in a good way are also your experiences. And we help you remember And we help you bring out these memories in your bones. Make them bigger. Make them brighter. Creating this deep knowing within you of how it feels to be fully seen in a safe way. And no matter what happens on the outside, this feeling is always yours. It's always in your heart. It's always within you. And we are always here. And you see that, that these ancestors are bringing you a gift. Each one of them is holding something in their hands for you. And they say to you, this is for you to remember. This is something that will connect you to us at all times so that we share what we know in an easy and smooth way. And just notice what, what those gifts are. They could be anything. Something that your ancestors are gifting you so that you're always connected to them, so that their wisdom flows to you easily. And you receive these gifts. And you receive their willingness to teach you.
and with gratitude in your heart for having fully received the gift. Maybe you take a small bow to these ancestors or maybe a big one, acknowledging their gift, acknowledging what they know and their wisdom and their willingness to share it. And you say to them, I also have a gift for you. And you go back to your boat and you bring out a gift. And just see what it is that is emerging as a gift for your ancestors who know how to be seen in a good way. And you're offering this gift to these ancestors. And you say to them, with this gift, I honor your place in this lineage. I honor your place in the wisdom of being seen in a good way. And I always have a place for you in my heart. Receiving what you have to share with me, learning from you, remembering you. And offering this gift and taking everything that you took from here, this place, the energy of this place, the gifts of this place, you begin to walk back to your boat, seeing all these ancestors smiling and nodding and maybe offering you hugs and offering you reassurance and fully seeing you for who you are to the depths of your being. They see you. They welcome you. They accept you exactly as you are. And breathing in this experience, breathing in this beautiful gift You get back on your boat and waving goodbye to everyone. You begin your journey back. Now following the flow of life. Going with the time from the past and into the future. Quickly passing all the different landscape, all the different settlements of ancestors in this beautiful dream world of ancestors. The river taking you all the way back to the place where you started this journey. And you bring all the gifts with you. And as the boat approaches your hill, the one that you came from, the one where you started this experience, you're bringing your attention to your heart, noticing what it feels like now. What is present in your heart right now as you met the ancestors who struggled to be seen and as you met your ancestors who were very comfortable with being seen. And fully taking both. And you get out of your boat, leaving it where it was on the river, and climb back up the hill. Noticing the landscape around you, noticing the grass under your feet, noticing the sounds. Coming fully back to the top of the hill bringing with you all this experience of ancestors, the blessings, the permissions, the gift, the knowing, the connection. And you take one last look around, noticing a beautiful summer day and a beautiful river running from the past and into the future.
And then you imagine letting go of the images, releasing all the images around you and taking a deep breath, becoming aware of your body fully, becoming aware of your own landscape in the present moment, where you are right now with your feet on the floor, with the room around you, with the sounds around you, with the lighting around you, feeling the air on your skin, maybe moving your toes and your fingers, maybe moving your body to adjust it, to bring yourself fully back into this moment right now, into this body right now, with all the gifts and all the experiences, taking another deep breath and fully coming back and opening your eyes. Welcome back and thank you for doing this meditation with me.